as you can all tell, we have brilliant leaders, very accomplished, active members. Um, and it's hard to really recognize each and every one of them. But at this time, the Harvard Arab Alumni Association is going to be presenting the Outstanding Contribution to Arab Student Life Award to the presidents of the Harvard College Society of Arab Students and the president of the Graduate School's Harvard Arab Student Association. Dr. Nishan will, then, will tell you more about these specific individuals. I will tell you about their work in those organizations as I have worked very closely with them. As an alumnus myself and a staff member at Harvard, I was an alumni representative with those organizations. And I have personally worked very, very closely with two phenomenal women. And I'm proud that they are two women presidents. Woo! leadership, I would say nothing, because I would be speechless, but let me tell you about what the Society of Arab Students and the Harvard Arab Student Association did. And when I say SAS, I mean the College Society of Arab Students and HASA, that's the Graduate School's Harvard Arab Student Association. Over the past year, the Society of Arab Students has worked to overcome existing divisions in the Arab world that can manifest within our own community, between the Gulf, Levant, and African regions through benefit concerts raising money for refugee education, social mixers, mentorship program, symposiums, and faculty conversations, the community continues to educate itself and works towards being an all-inclusive, all-accepting, all-welcoming, unified community filled with love, support, appreciation of culture, and an understanding of the need for allyship. SAS, especially prove this inclusivity and this inclusiveness in showing resilience to the recent political situation and the travel ban, working with the Office of Diversity and Inclusion to help all those affected, teaming up with similarly affected communities like the Harvard Islamic Society, the Harvard African Student Association, the Harvard Iranian Club, and members of Act Give it up for the Society of Arab Students. because we have people working on the graduate level. HASA, the Harvard Arab Student Association, started this year with making history when it comes to governance and opportunity. For the first time since its inception, HASA administered elections across all board positions and across all schools. The membership of those graduate students and the postgraduate students grew from 80 members to over 200. HASA achieved extraordinary outreach by hosting events that welcome Arab communities from both Harvard and the greater Boston area, allowing it, with the support of its members, to achieve its highest financial standing to date. Furthermore, HASA collaborated with the Harvard Arab Alumni Association, Harvard College Society of Arab Students, the Middle East Initiative, the Center for Public Leadership, and others to put on projects that tell the beautiful narrative of Arabs, such as the Arab Student Retreats that strengthen community bonds, Tarat Nights that celebrate Arabic traditions, sessions with difficult conversations, cultural rhythms performances, movie nights with panel discussions, and fireside chats with the Arab Fellows at Harvard. Everyone, give it up for the Harvard Arab Student Association. So we have two incredible leaders to uh, acknowledge today. So I'll be presenting uh, a little bit about uh, each of them, and then I'll ask both of them to come up on stage to receive their award. So first is uh, Nadine Zerrini. is the president of HASA, the Harvard Arab Student Association. She was born and raised in Beirut, Lebanon. She is graduating with a Master of Liberal Arts in Management. On campus, Nadine has been an active member of the Arab community, utilizing her expertise in education technology and professional development. She led a hackathon at the Graduate School of Education, co-chaired the HAAA hackathon, and participated in leading executive programs that hosted Arab ministers at Harvard. In 2016, Nadine had joined HASA as the 
Chair of Professional Development and was later elected as HASA President. She hopes to stay connected with the Harvard Arab community and to continue to give back. I would also like to um, mention that you know, in, in my six years as the uh, HAAA President, I really have to say that this has been an incredible year in terms of also all the students coming together and working together. So that speaks loads to the wonderful leaders that the student body has had this year. And now I have the honor of introducing our second wonderful leader, Lean al Qassab. Saab is a senior at Harvard College, graduating with honors with a degree in molecular and cellular biology and a secondary in global health and health policy. She is half Syrian, half Lebanese, Woo! born and raised in Dubai, completing high school in Saudi Arabia, the whole Arab world. <laughs> In her time here, Lean first served as a social chair, then vice president, then president of the Harvard College Society of Arab Students, SAS. She also served as the SAS liaison on the HASA Leadership Council. In 2016, Lean was the co-chair of the decade mark of the Harvard Arab Weekend, the largest annual pan-Arab conference in North America. This year, Lean was recognized for her accomplishments by receiving the Harvard College Women's Leadership Award. Actually, I prepared this bio two hours ago. In these two hours, she got another award. <laughs> she received the AIMS Award. <laughs> and she was previously a recipient of the Adams House Marshall Tankard Award for Contribution to International Understanding and the House Arms Award. Starting in August, Lean will continue her studies at the Harvard Medical School, starting the first step of a long journey towards becoming a physician leader. We all know Lean for her positive energy, her infectious smile, and it's really a great honor to have these two wonderful leaders with us today. Uh, I just want to make one last shout out uh, to someone who's not with us to see specifically Lean and her accomplishments. Her father, Mr. Uh, Bashir Al Qassab, who unfortunately could not be here because of the travel ban. So we'd like to honor him. Too. Friends, graduates, um, everyone. 
Tonight, as we leave our campus, I would like to reflect with, with you on three important attributes described our, with our, within our, throughout our, our house academic year. I'm sorry, but the uh, months are overwhelming. <laughs> Arab diversity, Arab inclusion, and Arab veritas. Uh, we have done so many events this past year together. We celebrated, we cheered, we cooked, not to mention that we were there for each other at difficult times. Throughout this past year, in 2018, we have embraced Arab diversity across both our 12 Harvard graduate schools as well as our Arab countries, regardless of religion, gender, race, or any other background. We tried hard to be Arab inclusive through exhibiting our respect and appreciation of our differences, and we focused on what united us and addressed through difficult conversations what divided us, and by doing so, by being honest, transparent, and even allowing ourselves to be vulnerable at times, we showed our true Arab veritas. Through these difficult conversations, we learned that to fight and resist and defend our positions that we hold true, we learned how to do that with knowledge, intellect, and education, not with weapons. Thank you to all the members of our community, the Hassa community, for making this a memorable and successful year. Thank you for making things easier during challenging times. Thank you for showing up to all of our events, even when you had exams, even when you had deadlines, uh, because you support the mission. On that note, I would like to say, also thank our partners and sponsors, such as the Middle East Initiative and the Emirates Leaders, Leadership Initiative, for supporting us in building and strengthening our community across campus and the greater Boston area. A very special thank you for the Harvard, Harvard Arab Alumni, <laughs> Harvard Arab <laughs> Alumni <laughs> Association, uh, who have volunteered their time and dedicated great efforts for in supporting our students and projects and committed their mission to the community, to the Harvard community, our community. HASA, represented by its membership and leadership, works hard to serve a big and diverse student body, a community of students, fellows, and affiliates that come from every time zone and zip code in the Middle East and North Africa region. And speaking of leadership, please allow me to tell you how honored and proud I am to have worked with an amazing team that has invested all their time and energy for the Hasa mission. These students have invested many countless hours over the course of the past year, and sometimes dedicated entire days to plan and organize our events and projects behind the scenes to make this a successful year and spread the students' identity and pride. Can I please ask all Hasa leaders or board members to stand up and be recognized if they're in the room? Sheikha Mu'al, Peter, Not thank you enough for this outstanding effort and vocation. If this is not dedication, then what is? Let's make some noise for these people, please, again. And we'll move back. <laughs> Thank you all as the president and it's an honor to serve you all as